What's up animators and welcome to Blend and Go, a series where I show you short but useful Blender tips within 5 minutes. This one has been voted in my Discord server, so you wanna help decide what I post? Join us! It's completely free and fun and everybody is welcome. It's a utopia. Now, how to get a model from Model Bench into Blender. First I wanna import something. If I could find it. I haven't used my Minimator stuff in ages. Ah, did they change stuff? Oh! Is that it? This used to work! Okay, okay, I somehow fixed it. So you've got a model which has a hierarchy, it's got all the bends and stuff. Oh, I forgot how laggy this is. With Model Bench's new updates, which are actually pretty old now, you can open up Menu and export the model as an OBJ file. And OBJ files are readable by 3D softwares like Blender. So if we click this, Export Mode, it's going to export the entire thing as a single mesh, single object. If you put parts as objects, that means all your body parts down here are going to be individual objects. And if you select Shapes as objects, Object, that means every little shape, you know, the, the shapes within the body parts are going to be their own object. Let's go with parts as objects because that's usually how you would rig a Minecraft character in Blender. You can export only the selection, we don't want that. Include hidden elements, which we don't have, but I guess it's useful to take it on. You can unparent all of the parts, so the body parts and stuff are not parented to each other, but they're just lumped together in a big collection. Sure, let's, let's do that. Combine the locked elements. I guess. Export OBJ. Make a new folder on the desktop. Don't ask questions. Boom! Now we wait for a little while as this thing is exporting. I don't think it should be taking this long, but... Okay, it's... it's about time now. Yeah? You good? Okay, close this. We don't need it anymore. Open up Blender, and up here I want to go to File, Import, and Import Find OBJ. And import the .obj file. Import? Did I scale things? Oh no, the body parts are not parented. Uh, yeah. Turn it off if you don't want to have this mess. But now that we do, let's clean it up. So like these two, control J to merge them. Okay, I got a little bit lazy, let's say that's it. Now, you want to take on material view, and you see something very ugly happens. This is a common issue, so let's just open up the shader editor. There's a garbage truck outside. It's very loud. If we open up the materials, you see we have four materials, one for each texture. So let's select the body part, and up here we can see this is the suit. And up here, next to the interpolation, just set it to closest. That's it. Blender is interpolating the image, which is kind of blurring it to make it look more realistic. But we don't want realistic, we want pixels. Select the next thing and just set it to closest as well. I guess this has multiple materials, so we can just go in here instead of slot 1, select the next one, this is slot 2, set that to closest, and the fourth one is the items which we've already done. Something got goofed up with the leg here. Let's do a quick little solve like that, it doesn't really matter. If you want to change stuff, you can always go into the UV editor and just edit the UVs of these. Let's say we move this one up. Uh, the skirt doesn't have a material. It's in the Oblivion suit. Select the skirt, go to the Oblivion suit pirate. That's it, just assign the material. I don't know why I didn't have it. Probably because I merged them together. But yeah, that's it. For all the body parts that are bending, you will have multiple subdivisions here. So you can replicate the same amount of blend as if you made this whole thing in Blender. The leg here doesn't really have too many, so I guess add edges where you need it. This is essentially your model bench model inside of Blender. Now if you want to rig it to make it move and stuff, I've made a whole video talking about how to make micro frigs in Blender, so you might want to watch that. You will also learn the fundamentals of Blender, and if you want to go a step further, I have a whole video on how to transition from Minimator into Blender as well. If this is the way you want to go, check them out, they're good videos. So that was it for this episode of Blending Go, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time, stay sharp.